The husband of a female soldier found guilty of deserting for military service in Iraq has protested his wife's recent sentencing, saying the army is unfairly making an example of a conscientious objector. Private First Class Kimberly Rivera fled the Iraq War in February 2007 after a year of service, becoming the first U.S. military deserter ever to flee to Canada. She returned to America in September 2012, and in April, a military court in Fort Carson, Colorado, sentenced her to 10 months in prison. She could not pull the trigger on another human being. If it came down to it, she would have pulled the trigger on herself before another human being. Ms. Rivera has amassed international support for her case, with over 20,000 people signing a petition in her favor, including Nobel Peace Prize laureate Desmond Tutu. She lived in Canada for five years and gave birth to two of her youngest children there, but was eventually faced with deportation. U.S. President George W. Bush ordered an invasion of Iraq in 2003 to prevent the dictator Saddam Hussein from obtaining weapons of mass destruction. Hussein was removed from power, but the weapons turned out not to exist. By most estimates, more than 100,000 people died in the conflict and subsequent civil disorder. A recent Pell Research poll said 44% of Americans believe using force in Iraq was the wrong decision and that 43% believe military operations in Iraq were a failure.